पोर्टेबल हार्ड ड्राइव A portable hard drive is a compact magnetic disk drive that plug into a USB port in a computer. These hard drive are connected with a computer through USB port. The these portable or we can say that secondary storage device or mostly we utilize these portable hard drive for a backup storage. sometimes we want to make a backup so we put the backup data inside it whenever needed we connect that drive to a computer or to the laptop and takes that data again same procedure is done the common storage capacity is from 5 gb to 4 tb it depends upon that which one you need it consists of two or more platers while you remember in a previous class we have discussed that that same magnetic disk is inside it so platers will be there and these are air sealed so that the air will not get inside it and they are connected through computer they are connected to computer through usb port It is used for storing data, programs, photo, music, and document. We can store anything inside it. If you want to store a program, if you want to store photo, music, video, or any type of document you want to store, it is same like hard drive, but it is connected to computer through USB port. So right now, the latest. hard drive or latest portable hard drive they are coming with a usb 3.0 speed and its file transfer rate is faster as compared to a usb 2.0 how we get to know that it is a usb 3.0 the color or the port color which will showing blue so it is known as a usb 2 3.0 or instead of that it is written ss ss stand for super speed in a there is no separate power cable here if you see only one cable is there which is working as a data transfer as well as for power so in a usb line in a usb we got four lines let me draw it for you here in a usb we got four lines 1 2 3 4 these first and last line they are used for what for power and the center two lines are used for data these two lines are used for data okay all usb devices or usb connected devices they have a uh, four lines to are used for power to are used for data so they are serial devices some portable hard drive contain built in wireless functionality and it can be uh, connected wirelessly with the computer using wifi optical disc optical disc are basically plastic coated disc uh, on which we can store our data in a digital form or it can store information also the data which is stored on a optical disc that can be read or write through laser technology whenever writing a data or reading a data a tiny bumps are there engraved on the surface of the disc there are some types of these optical disc first one is a cd dvds and blu-ray disc compact disc 
or which is known as a CD. The compact disc are mostly used for storing digital data and information. At the beginning, these compact discs were created for sound recordings, but with the time being, the usage of this has been expanded to the computer data and data storage. Let's talk about the dimensions of the CD. Uh, in dimensions, a CD is 1.2 millimeter thick with a 120 diameter, 120 millimeter diameter. Previously, as we explained, that it was of a plastic, carbon plastic, but it's made up of a polycarbonate plastic. And its weight is up to 15 to 20 grams. The storage capacity of the CD range from 350 to 800 MB, but normally the CD's capacity is 700 MB. Let's talk about that for which purpose nowadays we are using these CDs. These CDs are popular for data storage as well as application program, device driver, Windows operating system. But while whenever we talk about Windows operating system, not we are not going to talk about the latest one. Okay, Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows XP, they were on a CDs. But right now while we talk about Windows 7 and later on, they cannot fit inside the CD because its setup size is bigger. We also use these disks for image, images as well as for video storage. The CD has a single spiral track that spiral from the center to the outside edge. Information is stored on a CD in a form of zeros and one where bump is there it means zero where land is there it means one. So again the data which is stored on a CD is in a form of land and bumps. But whenever land is coming, so means it will produce one. Whenever a bump is coming, it means it produces a zero. So how CD-ROM or drive will decide that where zero is there, where one is there? By using a laser technology, a CD player or CD drive player is used for reading the data stored on a CD, which is stored, stored on uh, in a figure. The job of CD player is to focus. <coughs> the job of a CD player is to focus the laser on the track and bump. Okay, so here inside it, one head is there on head we got a laser beam okay the mechanism or the usage of this laser beam is that it will find out bumps and land for you so the laser beam passes through the polycarbon layer polycarbonate layer at the top of the cd a plus uh, aluminum coating is there so whenever it find out zero or one over there the laser beam which has been sent it will come back if it is one over there it will come fastly if it is zero over there it takes likely time to read the data from that desired 
zero space. So reflex of the aluminium and hit the center, uh, hit the sensor that detects change in the light. DVDs. DVDs stand for two abbreviation. One is digital versatile disc and the second one is digital video disc. While we say versatile disc, it means that anything can be stored inside it. What anything is, it can store program, files, videos, audio, or any type of file. But while we talk about video disc, it was used only for storing large amount of video on it. Basically, the main function of DVD is that we store large storage data inside it. It is similar to a CD, but what is difference inside it that it store large data capacity. Its data storage capacity is about seven times more than CD. It means that when seven CDs are combined, it will give you same capacity of one DVD. Can anyone tell me what is the size or capacity of a CD? The size and capacity of a CD is 700 MB. And 700 MB multiplied by 7. So it's come 7, 9, uh, sorry, 7 multiplied by 7, 49. So means 4.9 GB, nearly equal to 4 or more than 4 GB. Okay. So we got that, that DVD capacity, normal DVD capacity is more than 4 GB which is equals to 4.7 GB. It has been replaced. The videotape that were used in the past for storing movies. Previously, the manufacturing of video or we can say that the creating of video was on videotape originally. But when DVD came, it has been replaced those tapes by a DVD. A DVD writer or player is used to store a data and to play those data. DVD player, while you got in a computer DVD player, so it is possible that you can play a CD as well as DVD through that DVD player. But remember that it is not necessary that it will write a DVD or CD for you. Whenever only player is there, DVD player, it will play CD and DVD. But whenever you have a combo drive, so combo drive will play a CD, DVD and can write a CD. Okay. DVD has same diameter and thickness as CD and same material is used which is used for a CD and the manufacturing method is same as which is used in a CD. So there is no difference in a dimension of CD, DVD. The mechanism which is used in a CD for reading and writing a data, same mechanism is used in a DVD. Data is also stored just like a CD on a spiral track in a form of land and bumps. The storage capacity of DVD range from 2 GB to 16 GB. In your book, it is written like this that capacity range from 2 GB to 16 GB. Yes, because there are different, different versions of uh, DVDs were there. At the beginning, it was uh, 
1.8 or something GB like this. But right now we got 15 GB or 16 GB DVDs also available. But normally in a market we got two sizes. Remember that single layer DVD, dual layer DVD. Single layer DVD capacity is 4.7 GB. Okay, 4.7 GB. While we talk about a dual layer, okay, so it was 8.5 GB in decimal. So we get to know that these DVD are used for what? What is the storage capacity of that? How the data is stored on it? And what is the capacity of these DVD? BD or Blu-ray disc. What this is, this is a new type of uh, optical storage device. Why it was created? The reason behind the Blu-ray disc is storage capacity. In a CD, we got 700 MB. In a DVD, we got 4.7 GB to the 8.5 GB, up to 16 GB maximum, which was there. But while we talk about Blu-ray disc, the storage capacity is up to 300 GB. And it's the fastest disc we store your data. Right now, in a Blu-ray disc, if it is a single layer, so its capacity is 25 GB. If it is a dual layer, its capacity will be 50 GB. If it is a triple layer, its capacity will be 100 GB. And furthermore, we got up to 300 GB is available inside it. The technology or the technique which is used in a Blu-ray disc is same for storing a data. Bumps are there on the surface of Blu-ray disc which represent digital information. But these bumps are too much smaller or denser than a DVD and CD. This increased the storage capacity of Blu-ray and Blu-ray discs are better storage device for storing movies because they required a lot of more storage space. In next slide maybe I am going to show you that right now the video format is increased too much. Previously we got a uh, DVD, okay, DVD version that is uh, uh, 1080p. Right now we got 2K, 4K, 8K movies are available. So whenever we got 8K, so you cannot store that in a normal DVD. So you have to use for that a Blu-ray disc. Another advantage of Blu-ray disc is its durability. Yes, how durability is increased. A special coating is there at the back which prevent from scratches or mark. Okay, so the it help you that it helps the disc that it will scratch proof or the data which will be there will be prevented on it. I've told you that let in next slide I will show you a normal mobile while you are recording that it is a 480p or 720p which is a HD quality. HD quality is 720p. 1080p is a full HD quality. 4K is 1260 into 3840. But while we talk about 8K, your resolution is too much high. 4320 into 7860, that is a resolution. Okay. 
while I am recording this video, it is on a 480p. Okay, on a YouTube, your most videos are maybe some of them are available at 1080p, some are available at 720p, and some are available in a 480p. So it depends upon video to video. Whenever this resolution increase, automatically the size capacity, the size of the video will be increased. Flash memory or chip memory. Flash memory and chip memory, they are basically uh, EEP ROM, electrically erasable programmable read only memory. Or we can say that they are solid state drive SSD, which means there there will be no moving part inside it. Okay, if you see that only ICs are there or chips are there, so therefore it is known as a chip memory or flash memory. So everything will be inside this flash or chip memory is in an electronic form. Therefore, it got a name flash. Okay, from the fact that it can store chunk of data and also erase large chunk of data in a flash because it is a semiconductor IC chip memory. So maybe right now you got the word why it is known as a flash memory. Flash means that in a seconds you can erase the data or you can put or store the data inside it. Because inside it data is stored in a form of semiconductor IC chip. Flash memory come in two form. One is a flash drive, another one is a memory card. Right now you can see these are flash, uh, these are flash drive, and memory cards are also available. Flash drive. Flash drive are also called USB flash drives. So the another name for flash drive is USB flash drive. Why it is known as a USB flash drive? Because all these flash drives are connected through USB port. They are portable drives. Okay, they can connect through USB port. Right now, in a computer, we got two USB, two types of USB ports are there. One is USB 2.0, another one is USB 3.0. So your flash drive should have a USB 3.0 speed so then you can connect it to the USB 3.0 port how we get to know that this USB is having a 3.0 speed USB 3.0 speed a color combination is showed if inside a USB USB port you got a blue color it's mean it is a USB 3.0 or S S is written. S S stand for super speed. Okay. The storage capacity of these flash memory range from 2 GB to 512 GB, which is available in a market. And as shown in figure, these are different types of scan disk company USB flash drive, Samsung flash drive, okay, or different other companies' flash drives are available. Flash memory card. Memory card, I think so most of you know that they are electronic device which is used for storage and it is used with digital camera, mobile phone, video games and with the computer laptops. They come in various sizes and different storage capacity. You can see these are different sizes of memory card right now the normally which we are using that is a SD memory card okay which is most of the mobile support as well as digital camera in some of the digital camera this card is put inside a jacket and then this big size jacket is put inside your camera in a old mobiles or old laptops or we can say that in digital camera 
this memory card size was differently using advantages of using flash memory and memory card what are the advantage it allow fast read and write operation because there are no moving part inside it so it is the data can be write or data can be read from this memory card fastly it is a non volatile semiconductor memory yes it's a non volatile the data will be stored in it permanently and cannot be erased and the data is stored in a semiconductor memory it is very lightweight and small in size if you see here the weight is very 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 less and the size uh, if you see the size dimension basically the size is dimension here the dimension is also very small right now the latest memory card sd card which we have okay so its size is very small this one which is using or which is available in a market it is very reliable yes reliable because no moving part is there so it is a ssd memory solid state drive memory its operation is noiseless since it has no moving part so operation is also smooth inside it those who are using a laptop having ssd drive solid state drive okay so their laptop does not produce a lot of sound latest laptop have a ssd drive and remember that they are expensive drive if you want to buy a normal hdd hard drive of a 512 gb so if you want so what will be its price its price will be nearly about uh, 3000 to 5000 but if you want to buy ssd of 512 gb it is equal to 100 dollar price so it's very expensive remember that Okay. Hey. 